Hi, I'm Kirk Miller from AEM here at the 2007 SEMA Show. And if you're familiar with AEM, we have an engineering-based company, and that's our background, our roots is engineering and racing. Uh, this year is a really challenging year for us. We've got so much to talk about. I actually had to double the staff in the booth because of all these different new products we're talking about. The 2000 show this year, we want to talk about several new categories we're launching. Our performance panel program, our water injection, and our FIC. Those are the biggest announcements. While another, a lot of the other manufacturers are just expanding on applications, we're doing the same. We're here to talk about these categories. Our performance dry flow replacement panel program is our performance filter, which you guys might be familiar with, which is a dry flow element. It uses a non-woven polyester, no oil, dry flow. So it's super durable, incredibly efficient. We've done a bunch of third-party testing, proving that it, compared to a lot of our competitors, it's a superior filter. That was our goal, to produce a better filter. The results for the consumer were something like no oil, easy to clean, incredibly durable. You don't have to, have to worry about the filter getting damaged during shipping or installation or anything like that. That's a dream come true for anyone who's familiar with the ritual of having to clean an oiled element. It's a real pain. It's time consuming. This way, 15, 20 minutes, you're done. Our second category I want to talk about is our water alcohol injection kit. Now, this is a really nice package and it's very value added when compared to some of the other brands out there as well. What's nice is it has a low fluid sensor, low pressure sensor, and has a, a specific component that's unique to water injection. It has something called Boost Save. Boost Save will actually put an analog output that can pull back boost pressure or actually retard the timing. It's a unique feature built into the control module. It has a progressive motor, it has boost on, and a finished boost setting. So it's a nice, complete package. All the fittings are just push-pull also, so your installation, minimal. One of the other nice features is that it has a one gallon tank versus a two quart tank in most of our competitor systems. So when you compare them side by side, the entry level point price point on this is 439. It's loaded with features when compared to all the other systems. So it's a nice package. The third category I want to cover at this show for 2007 is our FIC. A lot of you might have seen this on TV or in some of our ads and a lot of different race cars, but at the show we're actually showing on-site demonstrations of our software, how incredibly easy it is to manipulate and actually explaining in detail what it is. The FIC is, I guess you could say it's like an EMS Junior or a baby EMS. It's an extremely affordable fuel and ignition solution. It's a, we have a piggyback module that works in conjunction with the factory engine control module. We have plug and play harnesses, so the installation of this is as simple as unplugging the factory computer, plugging in our jumper harness, plug in the FIC, plug in your laptop, and your tuning. So you're looking at a 10 to 20 minute installation period of time. There's some sync uh, procedures that you have to go through, but the fuel control and ignition control is now yours. You can retard timing, you can use plus or minus on fuel, you have 100% control on your fuel. It's a beautiful feature, especially for vehicles like late model vehicles this was designed for. You think about a vehicle like the 350Z. It has an incredibly complex management system that's a, more like a chassis computer more than it is just engine and fuel. So with this, you don't have to worry about the drive-by-wire features or CAN bus or dash controls, anything like that at all. You can use the FIC, intercept the factory signals in and out, 100% control on fuel, and retarding ignition allows you to run boost up to 29 pounds of pressure. So that's an awful lot. So that's the FIC. A couple of the other features are expanded applications and categories that you're familiar that we manufacture parts for. Our cold air induction system, our brute force HD for diesel, and our brute force. We've got our late model 57 Tundra system. Uh, there's a race truck here that's got one of those systems on it. It uses the, our off-the-shelf parts to race the Baja 1000. We also have Tanner Faust vehicle here. We won the 2007 Formula Drift competition, and we're using uh, our EMS, all our gauges inside, our fuel pressure regulators, all off-the-shelf parts. The same exact parts that you can buy are on these race vehicles. And expanded applications on the Brute Force HD system, like the 67 Cummins, the LMM Duramax, and the 64 Ford, all on the shelf in a very short period of time. One of the things I want to mention also, going back to the water injection, that's designed for turbocharged gas engines. So this is a good solution for that. We also have a normally aspirated version coming out in January of 2008. That's just on the near horizon. So keep an eye on our website, aempower.com. There'll be a bunch of upgrades going up there. Come on our site and check it out.